The peptides are a morphine-like substance. We can measure the peptides in the urine. We know that morphine has an effect on the brain. If we then find high concentrations of these peptides, we will recommend a diet. How does diet affect, affect our ways of behaving? Because there is a genetic disposition for all mental diseases of any consequence, there must be chemical changes. We have been looking for chemical changes for years and years, and when we finally found peptide, that is fragments of protein increases in the urine, it was reasonable to then think that these peptides could cause mental disease. Such as? Schizophrenia, autism, depression, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and also some neurological diseases. Mm. And the effect is, is that the children, by and large, not all, but by and large, improve over time. You have to keep at it at least half a year. And some of them show very powerful abstinence phases. So we're actually talking about a fairly dramatic effect yes. of changes in diet and how it affects uh, these children. Does Many, it but not all. And when we do eat that food today that we are not meant to eat from a genetic point of view, then we get all kinds of extra. Well, heart disease, cancer, overweight, diabetes, many inflammatory diseases, autoimmune diseases, mm. which means most diseases we have today. Mm. There are so many, many, many factors at work in the, in the human uh, physiology that it's difficult to be sure of, of, uh, of uh, how many, for instance, some of the siblings of autistic children have peptide increases, but they are not ill. And why? I don't know. What are the effects if they eat a gluten-free and milk-free diet along with their siblings, although they haven't developed any illness symptoms? According to the parents, but this is hearsay. It's not scientifically established. Well, it is experience. But the, the parents say that the children become more awake, they become more concentrated, and they have, are easier to manage. So actually the diet has an effect both on healthy children as well as the ill children. Maybe. What shaped our genes through evolution was what we ate during evolution. And we ended up with uh, the same type of genes we have today, maybe 40, 50,000 years ago, based on what we had eaten two million years before that. Yes, they ask a lot of that, if I was depressed and if I wanted pills to help me through. But I think no, because um, I didn't feel that mm, it was something wrong with my, my mind. It was something wrong with my body. Mm. And they never saw the whole picture. So every time I, uh, time I, I came to the doctor and was uh, um, aching in the body, they just looked at that one and never, never saw the whole pictures. Mm. I created a lot of trouble at school. I couldn't sit still. This came out in different ways. I was also very angry. I had literally no control. I would black out and not remember a thing later on. Even down to the age of nine I was doing this, throwing chairs and tables at the wall and at the teacher. No control. I wish we had done the change in diet long ago, because then I would have avoided being bullied for five years. When you're bullied every day and told how stupid you are, how ugly you are, or how fat you are, you get an extremely poor self-image. You just exist and wonder why you are really here.